First of all, I thought our coaching staff did a really good job of uh, preparing our kids. We had a lot to play for. Um, you know, we had our seniors. Uh, we we had a dedication game. We talked all week about dedicating the game to somebody else and bringing them into our family. They had a shirt on underneath that they wrote on a marker who they wanted to bring into the family, uh, into our football family. And obviously it was a top 15 team in the country and it would put us bowl eligible for our first three years here. And there was a lot of, lot to, a lot of motivation for us, a lot to play for. And certainly we were fortunate that we had our home crowd. Um, but Ole Miss is a really good football team. They, they turned it over three times and we didn't. Uh, but I was, I'm really proud of our kids. I'm proud to be bowl eligible. Obviously, we've got another game next week against a fine Missouri team. But, um, man, it's nice to have KJ back. Um, we weren't real clean on the first two drives, first two scoring drives, but he made us clean because of his athleticism. And, and uh, you can say a lot of different things about a lot of different guys. Rocket, obviously. Uh, but our, our defense bent a lot. There's heck they had a lot of yards. A lot of it was after we was up 42 to six, but uh, they didn't break. And obviously when you can be up 42 to six, um, uh, the defense has played really well. And um, I'm just really happy. Um, and so I'll be quiet and let you ask me some questions. Hey, Bob. Sam, you know, Rocket had a little over, over 100 yards the last two games, I mean, combined. Um, what do you think was the difference? He obviously looked like his old self in breaking tackle. Well, I, yeah, he he was, Bob. I just think, you know, any running back that, that carries the ball for 100, 150 yards, they've got to have a break. You know, they've got to have one or two most of the time. Uh, they've got to have one or two that will that'll be a 30, 40-yard pop. And uh, certainly that's what he got tonight uh, when that happens. Uh, you know, it's like anything confidence-wise. If you are if you break one or two, then that probably helps you break a tackle. You know what I mean? It might help your vision. You're excited. Um, but he played extremely well. I thought our line did a nice job of blocking up there for him until, you know, we they knew we weren't going to throw the football there, you know, in the fourth quarter, and and uh, uh, we had a hard time because they had more in the box. But I thought uh, he played exceptionally well, ran hard. You know, he gets a 50-yard touchdown call back because they called holding on Hazelwood, and two plays later he scores. You know, I mean, what does that, that say about the kind of night the guys had? Well, I think that was really big because, you know, a lot of times you get a run like that, and then it gets called back for holding, and, and then you – miss a field goal, don't, you don't, you sack, you're not in field goal range. And our kids in two plays, you know, blocked it up and got, and went back and scored. And I thought that was uh, really big. I think this was our first really this year, complete game. It was, it was a complete game. And, uh, uh, but I think it says a lot about our team. We were focused, ready to go. And our coaches did a great job of getting them ready. Were you surprised that KJ was able to throw the ball that well early given his injury? And is he a hundred percent now or what'd you think? He looked pretty good, didn't he? he? Did. I was not surprised. Uh he had he had no uh medication or anything like that this week. Uh, uh we made the decision last week because of the week before, you know, he hadn't practiced. And I think we just would have put him in that cycle of non-practice give it up for the team not and he would have done it but uh we felt like if we get him back and because our defense has been playing better uh, and because they're healthier as well too um we felt like we could come and maybe do what we did tonight and uh, but it was about his health too but no i wasn't because he's been throwing it really well in practice where did you see improvement along the offensive line and just what went into getting them ready this week after a disappointing couple? Yeah, well, well, you know, when you – the biggest improvement is K.J. Jefferson, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, when you have a guy behind you like that, it, it builds confidence in you. 
when you have a runner, a big runner that can physically run over people and things like that. I mean, uh, on the draw play, uh, you know, they all came inside and he kind of cut outside for, I don't know what it was, 20, 30 yards. And then I believe it was Lander's first touchdown after, right after that. Um, when you have a guy back there you that can break tackles and make things happen, I think you play a little bit better, to be honest with you. I think your first handful of runs tonight really didn't get much. No. Was there an adjustment made or just a matter of the team blocking it up better? Or what did you think? No, well, uh, no, Cody, you know, we had talked about it and, and, uh, uh no, you know, the very first play we figured out what they were going to do and they, they were going to back here. They were going to plug, you know, away from the back. Um, and then after that didn't work. So, and they, they're going to plug away from back and twist the backside. And uh, those those are good stunts when you're running inside. I suggested that we toss the ball outside. We toss or run, pin and pull, try to get the ball outside a little bit more. And then uh, once we once we loosen them up a little bit with the throw and the outside threat, then um, I think our kids kind of figured out what they were doing and blocked them up. And Ole Miss had a couple of touchdowns called back by holding penalties. Yeah. How much do you think that maybe helped the defense's confidence? You know those plays. Well, I, I think it was big, you know, um, the officials did a really nice job, I thought. And, and, um, but I think, I think that was, I think those were two really big plays of the game. Sam Rocket obviously stole the show, but your first two scores, Landers made a couple of really nice catches, one in traffic, Man. the other over the shoulder. Well, he got rocked on the first one, yeah. you know, he got hit. And, and then the second one where it was, you know, those are hard. Brad's probably caught a few whenever he's in college, but those are hard over the top and to the left and, uh, or Brad's, what I say, Brad? And uh, um, those are hard to catch, and those were two great catches. Now, it was a great throw by KJ. Well, both of them, but the one that was outside over the top, that, that was only him and nobody else. Do y'all see Landers make those kind of catches, like behind closed doors? Like during the week, do we see him catch those kind of balls? Yeah, yeah, quite a bit. I mean, especially, I, I tell you, Landers has just gotten better over the second half of the season. You know, he's got a lot more confidence and and got a lot better. Sam, I'm just smiling at my wife. I'm usually gloom and doom. I mean, the last two weeks. He said, "Did you bring out little Larry the bowling ball?" We did. Yeah, we got a new carry case for him. I think it's an eighties vintage and uh, Pat Doherty brought him in and in the carrying case and we put him out. We kind of shined him up a little bit, by the way, we've had him available for a couple of weeks. He looked hungry when he got out of there, you know, but uh, he was shined up, looked good. And we, we did bring him out. Yeah. You guys roll him down like you did last year. Absolutely. Except this year, Nichols had, he was in the middle of the both lines and he was giving me a target, you know, where to roll it through there. Did a pretty good job still. And obviously, you know, you got, you obviously want to win at Missouri no matter what, but the fact that you're, you're bowl eligible and you're not, I think if they beat New Mexico state, they they're trying to get bowl eligible too. But how good is it to have that? I guess that pressure off or that burden lifted or whatever you want to call it. I, I think, I think it's, it's big, you know, and, and I've got some heck, because I said one of our goals is to go bowling, and one of our goals is to go to bowl. You know, as you can go to the Fiesta, the Liberty, the Cotton. The I mean, there's a lot of bowls. I didn't say what bowl. I just said we want to go to a bowl, and obviously we want to go to the best possible bowl we can go to, and uh, more wins, the better the the better. Uh, possibility of bowls you get more and uh so we're, we're we want to obviously missouri's a rival of us and they're playing really good ball but you know so are we you know so we'll, we'll i'm sure it'll be a great game this is the last time bumper uh played in this stadium uh just what what did he mean to to y'all and how special is it to send him out like this uh you know a lot of guys don't know that that uh you know, how beat up Bumper's been all year, bad. You know, he's sore, he's hurt, and, 
you know, he just continues to keep coming back and playing. Now we're limiting him a little bit more, you know, and trying to take a little bit of the pressure, the pounding off of him and things. But he's really toughed out the last probably six weeks that a lot of guys wouldn't even play. And he's out there buzzing his butt. So to answer your question, A, to come back, and then I think there's some things he he probably wouldn't talk about it. Maybe he has, but the record was a big deal. But also, I think he wanted to be a captain, you know, and he hadn't been. And I think that was a big deal for him. It would, I'm sure, it is for everybody. Sam, do you feel like after playing last week in the cold that you guys were prepared for it tonight? Yeah, I think so. And and again, uh, our defense played exceptional last week. I thought and. But yes, to answer your question, and we practiced in it all week, and and uh, yes, I I, th I think that helps us. You know, um, I don't know what temperature it was at Mississippi or what they did or what Lane and them did, but um, yeah, I think it I think it did. Especially, you know, we caught the ball well, we hung on to the ball well, we threw the ball well. Those are things that cold bothers and. Man, it didn't look like it bothered us today. Sam, you're you're up thirty five. You're 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 up thirty five to six over an SEC team in the first. I mean, how good was that first half from all phases? It was great, you know. And then I thought, what did we score? Fourteen uh, there, right at the four minute mark of the second quarter. You know, left in the second quarter, and you know, Drew picked the pass and then we went down and scored with five seconds to put it up 35 to six. And then we come out and have two plays and go up 42 to six. And, and, uh, that was, you know, pretty much ball game at that point. But, uh, to come in here at 35, to six, we, the only time we've ever done that since I've been here, I think we're up 42 or 45 to nothing at, over Little Rock against Pine Bluff. But, we haven't done anything like that against an SEC opponent. And give them credit, too. They they came back and all that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, it felt great. And, and a coach, you worry about, you know, you worry about everything. And you worry about, well, we're going to come out and play the next second half, da-da-da-da. And our, we went down two scores and took 35 to 42. But those two right before half were huge. Yeah, how big was Rockets run there? I saw at halftime you said we got a score coming out of half, and then he takes it sixty-eight. You know, yeah, that was that was good. I mean, and the one thing about it is he was running down the middle. He saw the guy on the right, and he kind of dipped on him, and then ran away from him, ran to the outside. I thought was that was really good. Jimmy must have really taught him taught him how to do that. You know, I'm teasing. That's all natural right there. Thanks, coach. Well, thank you.